All right, guys, uh, board briefing for Monday, July 2-5. All right, one up, two rounds, six different movements. Jeweling all over the place, specific warm-up. We're going to go over rowing technique. Uh, there's going to be three progressions. Handstand push-up technique, there's going to be three progressions. Right here, too, we're going to find out if we're doing handstand push-ups for the workout, if we're doing dumbbell seated press, or if we're just doing push-ups. Not just doing push-ups, or we're doing push-ups. Uh, mini round, and then 200 meter round, or sorry, for the mini round, 200 or 250 meter row, followed by max reps of handstand push-ups or scaling option, okay? And that could be dumbbell seated press or some kind of push-up, push-up from your knees, banded push-ups, push-ups from a box, okay? So we got all different kinds of scaling and modification ideas for today. The workout, let's go over scoring first. Five rounds for total time, okay? But in this five rounds, you got a one minute segment in here for handstand push-ups, seated dumbbell press, or push-ups. So we're gonna take your total time and your total reps that you get for your handstand push-ups or scaling options. Every rep you get, you'll take a second off your time. All right, so a little bit of mathing. Keep track of where you are, what you're doing, what time you have to look at to know that you're a minute into your handstand push-ups and all that stuff, okay? Um, now, it's gonna be a 400 or 500 meter row and then one minute of handstand push-ups and then you'll go immediately back to the rower for a total of five rounds, okay? Level two is still five rounds, uh, still a four and a 500 meter row. Instead of handstand push-ups, we're doing dumbbell seated press. So a couple things with the dumbbell seated press. One of them is, is a 20 in each hand or a 35 in each hand or some weight that you can handle for repetitions. Um, I personally like people sitting on a box, but you can sit on the floor. The, the one thing we want to prioritize in this is good posture. Okay, and I know when I sit down and put my legs out or try to sit up straight, I don't have a great posture, but that's just me. Maybe some of you guys have better posture and can push those dumbbells in a good position. All right, uh, level one is gonna be a 200 and a 250 meter row respectively, and then one minute of push-ups. So we talk about scaling options. If we're not able to do push-ups from like RX version, push up from our knees, uh, we're, not, we're not able to do that. We can get a box out, a bench. We can always do some kind of pushing motion, okay? So that is our uh, scaling option there, as well as a minute, okay? Skill work, after the workout, we're gonna do, we're gonna accumulate 60 repetitions of a push-up plus a renegade row, okay? So what that is, is you'll have two dumbbells, one in each hand. You'll be in a push-up position, whether you're from your knees or your toes. You'll perform a push-up chest to deck, so getting that little extra range of motion, and then you're gonna pull one dumbbell, and then pull the other dumbbell, and then you'll go do a push-up again, all right? We're gonna accumulate 60 repetitions of that. Um, let's try not to let our hips go all crazy when we're trying to pull that dumbbell, um, nice and tight through the core, trying to sort of eliminate the rotation of your body using your core strength and your lats, upper back strength there, okay? Now, um, we already went over the scoring, so that should be good. Let's hit this workout hard too as well. Um, we're trying to maximize our minute here in the handstand push-ups, and we're trying to go pretty hard on that row as well. Handstand push-ups, if you're not getting 10 every round, let's really think about scaling. And a scaling option for handstand push-ups can also be put some ab mats under your head. I would say a limit of two. Okay, or a plate and then an ab mat will do as well. Something like that so it raises the surface of the floor. If you wanna keep doing those, that real motion of the handstand push-ups, we can also scale to a pike push-up off the box. Okay, so lots of different options, lots of uh, different ways to, to get the workout done tomorrow. Let's have some fun with it and get after those rows. Enjoy, guys.